On Asia tonight, day one of Najib Razak's biggest trial over 1MDB. The prosecution says the former Malaysian Prime Minister was pivotal in plundering state funds. Flood chaos in southern Japan as rains kill at least two people. More than 900,000 are ordered to leave their homes. In Hong Kong, hundreds protest the dismissal of Cathay Pacific staff who supported in the anti-government protests. Singapore removes the age limit for women who want to undergo IVF treatments. Hello everyone, I'm Jill Newbronner. And I'm Steve Lai. Also ahead, Britain's Prince Andrew under pressure to come clean over his involvement in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. And we're tracking the top news stories tonight with the Brexit deadline looming. Natalie Powell explains why Boris Johnson is suspending sittings of the UK Parliament. Plus, in Singapore, popular music festival Zook Out is taking a timeout. Vanessa Lim will tell us why. But first, we begin in Malaysia, where former Prime Minister Najib Razak's biggest trial over the 1MDB scandal kicked off today. Lead prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram has accused Najib of abusing his power to cover his tracks in the theft of hundreds of millions of dollars from the state fund. For instance, he accuses Najib of creating fake documents to say he received donations from Saudi royalty, when the money actually originated from 1MDB. The 66-year-old denies all the charges. Melissa Goh has more. 